Hi, I'm Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist practicing in Southfield, Michigan. And today I'd like to talk about gum recession, particularly in the related to orthodontic treatment. Most of the patients that I see have had orthodontic treatment. Why does that contribute to gum recession? Because when the teeth are moved, when they're shifted, the gum tends to thin out. And when it's thin, it recedes. I have here one of the girls in my office had her son have orthodontic treatment. She had to sign a disclaimer ahead of time saying, thin gum tissue that is prone to recession on the lower front teeth, some treatment in this area may be necessary in the future. This is way understating the case, okay? Because it's not some, I would say, half or more of my patients have had orthodontics. Now, orthodontics is necessary. But if the tissue is thin, that tissue should be thickened up before the orthodontics, not after. We can do it after, but it's much easier to do it before to minimize that kind of recession. Here's an interesting case. This is a young fellow. They already did, someone already did some sort of gum graft down here. Well, you can see how effective that is. These gums are very receded here and all over. So we did the pinhole technique in order to bring this gum tissue up, bring this gum tissue down. And even though there was scar tissue here and there was a lack of blood supply because of the scar tissue, we were still able to be successful. So this is the before, this is the after, still healing. But you can see the huge difference here, 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 all over the mouth. I love doing periodontal plastic surgery and I love treating recession cases. We can do semi-miraculous things now that we couldn't do before. So if you're having orthodontics, check with them about the possibility of recession. And if you've had it and you have recession, come and we'll be happy to take a look and see what we can do to help you. So we love you, have a good day, I'm here for you.